Hey, welcome to Speed and Shine. Car thing wasn't working out, so we're gonna start covering baseball. Tune in Wednesdays at 3.30, 7.30, and 10.30 for Where We Live, presented by Lloyd Gampton Retirement Centers. Jennifer, good morning. Hi. Hi. <laughs> no, How good. are you? Good morning. Yes, yeah, good to see you. Good to see you too. So what's new? I'm exhausted. <laughs> I am suffering from tired mother syndrome this morning, but yeah. this is always the perfect pick me up to get my week started. Well, we've got a lot to recap because we do. you're tired and I'm tired because there was so much fun going on. Yes. Very Thir full life. Yes, very full. <laughs> Thursday, I got to tell you what I did. You yes. probably didn't know I liked country music, did you? I mean, even as you were telling me the concert you went to, I was like, come again? Do you remember I used to have that pickup truck? <laughs> no? no, I don't remember. Well, you, country music was You played. drive the opposite of a pickup truck. I used to have a pickup truck. Since we've been friends? Oh, yeah. Brandon, you remember the truck? No. God. I don't think it's Black truck. The... You don't remember the black truck? Ne no. Never happened. Really? Okay. Never well, happened. I, yeah. Okay. But you owned a pickup pick up truck. No one knows about it. And you would jam country music on your boombox inside of the pickup truck? Is that what you said? <laughs> Listen, here's the deal. They sing a lot of songs that you would have liked and you would, you know, right? Okay. Like you're like, oh, they sing that. Oh, okay. So, yeah. Yeah, it was fun, but whatever. So you went to a country music concert is how we started this. <laughs> yes. I went to a country music concert. Who was it? Um... Kane Brown. Okay. He's good. Yeah. He's very good. Okay. And then uh, they're saying it's fake country. And then uh, Dustin Lynch. He has got the biggest white teeth I've ever seen. Ooh, yeah. Life. Yeah. So nice. that was good. We had a lot of fun. Went with the Brigettes, Josh and Melissa. Oh, lovely. And you were celebrating your beautiful wife's yes, birthday. birthday. Yeah, was, How fun. Yeah, it was part of uh, her birthday celebration. Did you guys rock out Grand Rapids? We, you know, what I think happened, well, actually... <laughs> We went up early because of the NCAA tournament. <gasps> yes. So we watched a lot of games uh, before. So it was kind of the build up to the concert. And then once the concert was over, so were we. So yeah, it was one of those. So how badly did you want to be an MSU college student Friday, St. Patrick's Day at 12 something when the Spartans played? Well, that's what I kept thinking. I'm just glad that. So fun. Yeah. I'm gl well, I was glad that I didn't have to be out during all that. But yeah. Yeah. So Michigan State. Wow. Uh, a couple great tournament wins and they advanced to the Sweet 16. Yeah. It was a lot of fun. Did you guys, you, did you watch any basketball? Yeah. I mean, it's, I feel like it's been on in the background yeah. all weekend. I love a good upset. So yes, I've I been too. following some of those, but we did an office pool. Okay. And Claire was homesick last Monday. And so I'm like, I don't have time, just pick it. So she did all my picks and she picked the Spartans. Like, really? Yeah, so take it. So she okay. is following it very closely. Love it. I'm a really good mom. Yeah. My 11 year old is obsessed with the brackets. That's good. As long as she's not gambling on it, then it's fine. So uh, you had a crazy busy weekend. You want to tell us about it? I don't even remember. No. So Friday you went out, you went out drinking. <laughs> I had 
two drinks. But yes, so I love the Grand River Brewery, but especially on St. Patrick's Day. And one of our neighbors is the bagpiper. What? Gary, yes, he is amazing. <laughs> um, and so we see him every St. Patrick's Day. And you know, I love Outlander, so he'll play the Outlander theme on his bagpipes, which is super hot. I love his <laughs> wife too. Um, but yes, is a couple of, of moms and I met for breakfast. No. no. Nope, um, but Claire had, well, and your parents were there too at board games with grandparents. Yes, they on were. Friday, but my little leprechaun tricked her grandmother into taking her out to lunch. So they came and met us for an early lunch. So wow. it became a family affair and it was lovely. Did you guys all go together, this group? Um, what do you mean? Like, like, we were all there together. Yeah. We didn't drive there oh, together. Oh, I wondered if you all rode together. No, I had, to, I had closing starting at oh. noon, so I had a pretty small window. But um, yeah, it was great, great crowd. Good. Great food. All the staff at Grand River was in great, wonderful spirits. Um, we got to meet some of the brewmasters. That nice. was really fun. Um, Justin was on hand, cool. making sure everything was going smoothly. They had music from 7 a.m., I think, until 11 p.m. Hmm. that day. Awesome. And it was so, so, so fun. That Stay with really us, fun. and you are going to get to see Jennifer go on the road to Grand River Brewery here. I had an interview without Andy. In it a was few minutes. So fun, but Thank so awkward. Thank you for doing that for me. You're welcome. Now, you didn't take my uh, cardboard cutout, did you? No. Oh, why didn't we do that? I, know. I thought about it, and I thought, I don't want you to have to drag that around all day. Oh, my God. That would have been the funniest I thing know. ever. Next time. Um, yes. Yeah, so then we, busy day at work. And, and I would have had jeans on, too, with your jeans. We would have I know. Did you see? Too. I've never worn those jeans. I'm never wearing them again. And P.S., I'm never wearing <laughs> those stripes again. And my stylist, Kelly, even admitted. What's wrong like, with those jeans? I mean, everything was wrong with that. No, look. you know, see here, the flare so lights coming back out. And I, I do know this for yeah. a fact. So Were there a lot of flares at the concert? I don't know. I wasn't looking at ankles. <laughs> <laughs> I know you were checking out everybody's shoes. No, I wasn't. But I did have nice shoes on. Well, I don't see anything wrong with those. I think well, it's fine. Well, anyway, so we get done with that. And then I put on my dance mom hat and mm. had to drive to Waterford, where we spent the weekend. Actually, Auburn Hills is where we stayed, right? So I hit Great Lakes Crossing a couple of times. Oh, but my Katie, God. Katie had a solo, and it's her first time being in, the, like, the next up division. So it was very competitive. She did a beautiful job. And my mother-in-law, you know, we lost Gaga last spring, yeah. and she loved Ed Sheeran. She, he was her favorite. And so Katie danced to autograph and dedicated oh, it that's to her nice. gaga. It was so beautiful. My sister and her kids came over 40 minutes. They drove to literally watch. Yeah, but you guys dance, dance. up closer to where they live all the time. The, the um, competition, sorry. Actually, the next one's in Grand Rapids. But um, yeah, it was really fun. I had to show this and give Kerwin props. So he's had a crazy week and he had to leave for Minneapolis last night. He drove up the two hours, mm. was there seven minutes, and then oh, had to turn God. around, drive back to pick up Claire from something, and then he had to fly out um, to Minneapolis. So he is a superstar. Awesome. Then here's their little trio, Abigail and Natalie, and they um, danced to Material Girls, so you know I was very happy oh, about I'm that. Oh, I'm sure you mm -hmm. stood up. Oh, I was like dancing in my seat for sure. True, what, uh, true dance mom. Can I ask you a question? Yeah. How much money you got into this thing? It's really funny <laughs> you should say that, and I will have a comment for that off the air, okay. but um, the pr other problem is, is like when I am out of town, I'm like, I'm going to make this a mini vacation. I'm going to shop. I'm right. going to eat out. I Find might have a glass local. of wine. Yeah, right. exactly. The next thing you know, Guess you what there is local in Auburn Hills? What? Nothing. Oh. Big box stores. Mm. That's it. Big box. I'm sorry. Like, if I go to one more <laughs> Starbucks or um, what's the smoothie? Tropical smoothie? Oh, <laughs> yes. Yes. God. Yes. yes. But anyway, we made the best of it. They had a wonderful good. time. MST did a good job. It was very busy. And then last night, we had to beat at home. I planned a dinner party for our neighbor, not realizing that I wasn't going to be there for it when I did it. But he turned 90. My dear, dear friend, um, Ducky O'Neill. You guys, Ann O'Neill is a huge yes. fan of the show. And actually, almost everybody in this picture is a huge fan of the show. How including do you have my time to go to a birthday party? every weekend. We came in hot, man. Look, Katie still has on her fake eyelashes and her um, dance wear. But Ducky there Speaking in the middle, 90 one. years old. And I got to tell you, he is handsome and sharp and so wise and just so amazing. I'm blessed with the best neighbors in the world. So that's kind of our church crew cool. there from St. Rita's. And look at Anne. I mean, she is a hot little number. Mm -hmm. um, but the... Uh, well, I'm embarrassed that we have that messy table in the picture, but... What did you guys have? Looks like pancakes or no, biscuits or I don't know what that something. was, but we were at the Clark Lake Golf Course, and Char and Mike did a great job. Very nice. You know what I did this weekend? If you tell me that you took a four-hour nap, I'm going to lose my mind. <laughs> did that happen? I took a three-hour nap. Are but here's why. 
here's why. <laughs> so Saturday or Saturday, you know, my wife works in Fort Wayne sometimes. Mm -hmm. yeah. We've never been down there, so we decided we'd check it out. Yeah. So it was cool. It's an inter very interesting city, uh, similar to Lansing, Battle Creek, and yeah. Jackson. Yeah. But um, no, it was fun. We, uh, you know, Vera Bradley is from there. I did not you, know that. I'm surprised you didn't. I did not She's know that. She's got a hotel called The Bradley, and that's where we stayed. Stop. Yes. How was it? It was very nice. Nice. Yeah. Like, she's from Fort Wayne? I assume she must be if she's going to put up a hotel there. Wow. Yeah, there's a lot of interesting development there. Um, I think they have a uh, one of those little baseball teams that everything oh, yeah. is centered around. So, but yeah, it was fun. Some people, some local people here used to own part of that. Really? Um, what is it, minor league yeah. baseball? Yeah. Yeah. Um, I don't, I don't know that they still have a vested interest in it, but they, mm. a lot of them used to road trip down there and they'd have a good time in Fort Wayne. Yeah, it was, uh, it was nice. We, uh, we had a great time. A lot of fun. Did you know they have, I, you've been, ever been to a Burlington Coat Factory? I love Burlington Coat Factory. Do you know it's just called Burlington now? Oh no, I didn't. Yes. It's no. just Burlington. Okay. And it's like, um, it's like TJ Maxx. But on steroids? Yes. How much money did you spend? $81. Oh, well, yes. that's kind of getting out cheap. It is getting out cheap. What'd you buy? Uh, I love a pair of shoes. Okay. You can always find a steal on some shoes yeah. there. Um, you know those big water bottles that they charge you like $40 for at mm -hmm. all the stores? Yeah. Found that for $12. Oh, <gasps> stop. Um, and I got three pairs of socks, $5.99. Nice. Good job. You, you were wheeling much. and dealing. Thank you very much. Are you wearing them today? I am not. They are athletic socks. So, so there, $81, pretty, pretty good, huh? Yeah. Burlington. You, you did really good. I did. Did I, wait. Ross Dress for Less. I was coming here? Yeah. Why do people confuse Burlington and Ross Dress for Less? Oh, because they're the exact same store. They are not the exact same store. They're very similar. Not at all. Ross mm -hmm. is more, um, I would call Ross Dress for Less ladies work clothes. Yeah. Yeah, what would you call it? Burlington. No. Okay. Well, we're going to have to take a road trip. To I Fort would call Wayne. it bulk discounted. But it's Ross is more female clothes. I mean, there's more girl clothes at Burlington than there are boy clothes. We didn't clothes. even get into the clothes section at Burlington. We just did the outside. All right. Well, when Ross comes here, and is that a for sure thing? Oh, yeah. Is it going into Sears? I'm not sure. But you got to say Ross dress for less. Ross, I'm not going to say that. <laughs> You've never shopped at a Ross dress for less in your life, Jennifer. Yes, I have. Uh, oh, maybe from when you were starting out in the work world when they had all those women's work clothes. <laughs> yeah, exactly. I got all my Allie McBeal suits from there. Allie I'll McBeal. Have you know. <laughs> Unbelievable. Yeah. Um, spring break. We have spring break coming up, and I think everyone in town is looking forward to just not having the schedule of kids to school, work, things like that. What say you? Yes. Well, we should let our viewers know we won't be live next week. Yes, Because we, we are off, but we will be here the Monday after Easter, correct? Yes, the first Monday in yes. April. I say, if you are staying home, make it a staycation, right? Yeah. Maybe plan a day to come and shop and have lunch downtown. Maybe get yourself a massage. Do something nice for yourself, even if it is just sit around and take a three-hour nap like Andy does on a semi-regular basis. Mm -hmm. And um, be really good to yourself. If you are going to Florida, have fun and be safe. I cannot wait to soak up sun. I'm literally going to be there for like, well, like three and a half days. You'll be able but to get some sun. It's huh? perfect. That yeah. one. It'll be just enough to recharge my batteries. Did you go on a lot of spring breaks when you were younger? Oh, never. Same. I mean, we had five kids. We were broke. <laughs> yeah, we didn't. We didn't go hardly anywhere. And. Um, I never knew what Florida was like yeah. until I was older. Did you go in high school? Um, toward the end of high school, we went yeah. to North Carolina to see our family where we still go. Yeah, so, you've been, you guys have been doing that a long time. We have been doing that a lot, a very, very long time. So yeah. looking so, forward to that as well. Where's your favorite spot in Florida? Oh, so Florida's not really my thing, but I would have to say Key West. So I'm going there for the first time really? next month. Oh. No, May. May. I can't, I can't talk about that. We'll move I on, it's a surprise. and <laughs> there we go. The we have some uh, pictures from the Jackson Blazer 60th anniversary celebration. I was so disappointed I couldn't be there. Me too. Glad uh, I heard it was a wonderful event, packed, uh, packed night honoring the Wade family. There's Alan. Just a wonderful event. Uh, Brandon Jimmy King was there. A little Fab Five in the house. I saw that. I saw that. Yeah. There's uh, oh, cool. there's Jimmy King. Oh my gosh, yeah. look how handsome, nice. And there's Alan, of course. Um, 
Alan's father started the uh, blazer. There's uh, Big L in uh, Code Blue. We had uh, Larry Sumner. Larry is awesome. I, I yeah. promise you he is going to end up, well, he'll, he's going to be a famous musician, but I like him for like a late night talk show Ooh. band leader. Yeah? Slash, oh, I yeah. like the roots, but better? Absolutely. Nice. Yeah. Oh, I like that idea. Oh, he looks so dashing. What a beautiful legacy awesome. his family's created yeah. and he's carrying on. And That's beautiful. Alan credits the, the community for, for helping them for uh, so many years and 60 years. Awesome. And we've... Uh, Think about what the last 60 years in Jackson have looked like. Amazing. Like the ebb and flows amazing. and that they have stuck with it and been such a, yeah. a beacon for good news That's and good information. Things. Very yeah. good. That Very is good. great. Love, uh, love the Jackson Blazer. Congratulations. Great friends of ours here at uh, JTV. The Shamrock Shuffle was uh, happening. That was St. Patty's Day evening. Yes. The uh, downtown. Look at people out there. It was so cold. It was We so haven't complained cold. about the cold yet today, which we normally do. I'm too cold to even complain <laughs> about it. The oh, shamrock look how shuffle. cute he looks. There is Sam Hunt with his uh, shamrock jacket. I'm going to need to talk to him about that. You're going to borrow that? Yeah. Very good. You think it's a jacket? I think it's a button-up, so maybe it could pass as a blouse. Yeah. So I got phone calls, because this was in the evening. Mm -hmm. um, I got phone calls like, hey, can we park in the Fields building? Because mm. downtown is so packed. Yeah. Of, of course, course you can. can. Oh, dead serious. Very serious yeah. runner. Good for him. I wonder if there was anyone that was... Uh, oh, fine. That was what? Well, that was drinking all day and then went and did it. Oh, my God. Wouldn't that be something? Yes, it really would. I wonder if you actually could do that. I wouldn't want to. So the downtown was packed because it was St. Patrick's Day. And? The kickoff to the social district. Crazy. Amazing. We are moving on up here So I wanted to ask you, because I was, as you know, I was not here. What was the buzz like? What, did, what was it like downtown on Friday? It was crazy. I yeah. mean, there were a ton of people downtown. Um, and you know what I loved? I saw people, presumably with cocktails, walking around checking out the bright walls, mm -hmm. window shopping at our cute boutiques downtown. Look at this. So followed. There's all the usual suspects. Oh, yeah. So fun. Very cool. So yeah, we'll see how, I mean, you know, and you think about it, think about the weather, right? I mean, wait till we get yeah. some nice weather right. in here. Hey, cheers to Corey Mays. He has been working on this a really long time. And his role is changing um, within the city, but he stayed committed to see this through. And I think, are those bowling shoes that he has on? Uh, if they're not, they look like them. Yeah, he might get the award for coolest shoes of the day. Um, but anyway, big kudos to him and his dedication to the city and, and making this happen because they tried this a couple years ago. Well, it was ready, but yeah. Yeah, but now they got everybody on board and they made it happen. And I, I just want to say too, what a healing thing that was, I think, for our city and our community. Like you know, two and a half, three years ago, no socializing, right. you know, social distancement, six feet apart. And now we have a social district that invites everybody to come down, to love have it. camaraderie, be out in the fresh air, take in our beautiful architecture and scenery. I love it. It's going to be fun. Yes. A lot of fun. Yes. As long as I don't bump into somebody and they spill beer all over me, because that would be a drag. Yeah, that would be. Yeah. So just be careful when yeah. you're out there. Yep. Hey, Baby Bear Burger, have you ever had this? At your recommendation, it's... I did during Brightwell. <gasps> Stop it. Yes, you didn't no, know this. I did not know this. Baby Bear Burger <gasps> is... Is this on Page Avenue? Yes, it's the old taco. Oh, this is the best news. Yes. Not for my diet, but for in general. This is wonderful news. Yes. So yeah, Baby Bear Burger, now open. Wow. Yes. If you have not had a Baby Bear Burger, you need to go and do it. And um, actually, they just passed the mm. um, the Goldilocks and the Grizzly. I've had both of those. Oh, so you have tried two. Perfect. Yes, they're delicious. I did it, I did it both, two different days during Brightwells. Well, I'm glad you did. It was did. so good. I went back. Awesome. Oh, so cute. Again, you know, people that not just survived but thrived during COVID and look at the opportunity and that's coming out deal. of that. Here's the deal. Part of the reason why they're so, so successful. The food's really good. Yes, smash burgers, delicious, mm. Mm. delicious. So good. I'd like to take a little, little, uh, take some of those with me on my little road trip instead of stopping at some of the fast food joints that I know I'm going to stop at. Oh my God! Don't even talk to me about. I mean, we ate so much crap this weekend. I look different. Have you ever had a, those insomnia cookies? Yes. <laughs> I had about a dozen of those on Saturday night. A well, dozen. Where in were Fort you? Wayne. Oh, uh, they're big. Andy. No, no, that's crumble. No, and some of your cookies are pretty darn good. They're well, 
there's different levels. Oh, so okay. these were like more of a basic Were they warm size. in the middle? Like they your mom just pulled them out of the oven? Good. Well, here's, they, they, they pulled them out of the oven, mm -hmm. but then we took them to a pizza place, mm -hmm. ate our pizza, and then took the cookies back to the hotel. Yum. And like, I couldn't stop eating them. Yeah, they are delicious. One time we had a rabbit emergency mm -hmm. in the middle of the night during spring break that we did not go on because of COVID. We're waiting in our car for three hours in a rainstorm with our sick bunny. And I was like, we're gonna order some insomnia cookie. <laughs> and we did, and they, we got them, and it was the most miserable night, but then it warmed mm. our soul and helped us Perfect. survive, yes. There's it, nothing, nothing better than a warm cookie. We need an insomnia <laughs> cookie here. Oh, that would be a good idea. Maybe the raw stress for less people will open <laughs> one as well. So, hey, we've got a Ross wonderful uh, show lined up. Oh, we've got something uh, happening today, don't we, Brandon? We, we do. We What's have a um, opportunity today, 11.30 to 1.30 at Jackson College. The Multicultural Affairs Department is presenting Uniting for Hope and Healing, a mental health forum. Again, that's today, 11.30 to 1.30 at Burt Walker Hall, room 144 and 145, free to all JC students, employees, and the community. Very so cool. that is happening today. We've got a uh, wonderful show lined up for you today. We're going to get things started with the one and only Faye O'Day right after this. At Runway Party Store, you'll find all of your everyday convenience items, smiling faces to help you find what you need, and daily specials fit for any meal. Visit us today and check out our newly remodeled location on Michigan Avenue, just south of the Jackson Airport. You protect your family. Are you protecting your home? Windows provide a view to the outdoors and protection from it. Are your windows drafty, cracked, or painted shut? Increase energy efficiency and the value of your home with vinyl replacement windows. Trust your home to the maze experts for window protection. If you're looking for a high quality, affordable alternative to the emergency room, then come to IEP Urgent Care's new location in Jackson. It's the same great ER physicians who have been providing care through our local hospitals since 2008, but now with a new location to serve you better. Our ER trained providers believe high quality care is for everyone, so we work with all insurances, including Medicaid and Medicare. Come see us on East Michigan Ave. Within the folds of your life, you find the passion and drive to keep pushing forward. Growth comes from continually moving ahead in every stage of life. Count on County National Bank to help with seamless financial solutions. We can act quickly and accommodate your needs, whatever life brings your way. Our local bankers understand our community and your goals. Let's work together. Learn more about our personalized banking services at cnbb.bank. Member FDIC. Now is Extreme's Ram Make the Switch event. Did you know you can custom order a new Ram for less than buying one? And you'll have it in 10 to 12 weeks. Also, have you seen the new Jeep lineup? Lease prices are great this month. Finally, the Extreme buying team would like to purchase your vehicle. Extreme pays top market value. It's easy, safe, and you get paid on the spot. Visit Extreme Dodge Chrysler Jeep Ram in Jackson or online at ExtremeDodge.com. Oh, yeah. The Pick Center is an independent practice that has provided care to the Jackson area for over 25 years. Doctors O'Neill and Cack supervise antibiotic infusions, as well as those for many other conditions, such as inflammatory bowel, joint and lung disease, anemia, and multiple sclerosis. Our modern facility is open seven days a week, and the infusion staff will make you feel right at home. Let your doctor know you have a choice where you receive your next infusion. Remember, when you've picked us, you've picked the best. Hmm. On Two Wheels is having an anniversary party, which means we get to save money and have a good time. Please join us at the On Two Wheels anniversary party. It's April 1st, 10.30 to 5. There will be drinks, there will be food, there will be everything is on sale. Amazing. Everything's on sale. Everything, Yay. everything. It's bike season. So yes. check out On Two Wheels. It's also sugaring and shearing season. Oh my gosh. Already? I know it's hard to believe with the weather, but Sunday, March 26, 12 to 4. Mark your calendars and join us as we get back out to Farm Lane to enjoy the wonders of spring on the farm. The sugaring and shearing, and it does not hurt the sheep. Nope. They enjoy that. They like it. Always, uh, always a great time. They told us they like it. They told us they do, and 
they do like it a lot. Well, it's now uh, time to welcome our first guest on today's morning show, the owner of Steve Ranch, Ranch and the winner of this year's BPW Nike Award, Faye O'Day. Good morning. Okay, thank you. Congratulations. Thank you very much. Look I'm happy to be here. Beautiful this is. Yes, yeah, sure is. It's, it's a very honorable moment to receive that. Well, it was very yes. well deserved, oh, and we want our viewers much. to know you just a little bit better. Thank you. What can you tell us? Well, it's really represent my history of doing everything mm -hmm. I love to do. Yeah. From raising children to serving in the restaurant. I've been in the restaurant for 42 years and uh, overcoming all kind of difficulties and adversity and it's uh, just take it day by day and improve things and uh, that's what I live by. I always say okay if you have a problem just solve it and move on and uh, get over it and if you learn something just improve yourself and uh, uh, do something better just yeah. keep on improving your situation and that's what uh, made it made us uh, the way we are that's great advice. It, it, yeah. And Faye, uh, so successful in every area of life, and I know one thing you're super proud of is is all of your children. I am. Uh, yeah. You have the most successful group of children of anyone <laughs> in the history of motherhood, so congratulations. Well, thank you very much. <laughs> I'm really proud of that. They are good, humble people. They all well educated, and they serve in the community. They also... Uh, it's not just they are well educated and have good job, but they are so um, they benefit in the society. Mm -hmm. yeah. They saving lives. They doing research. They doing everything good for the society, and they just uh, you see them, and they are uh, so comfortable with themselves. And if I ever need help in the restaurant. They always there. They didn't say I am too big to come and uh, oh. work the line or use or work the bar. They always willing to come and help, and nice. that is, uh, I'm very proud of them. Thank they you. love Michigan too. They love. To, they all over the United States, but they always come back for Michigan. Oh, nice. So yeah. you, um, you, your journey is is very unique. Uh, Palestine to Detroit and then to Jackson. To Jackson. Maybe yeah. some. Maybe some stops in between, but yeah. how did talk a little bit about uh, the trip you and you and your uh, late husband made to Detroit in the mid '60s, and then how you ended up getting to Jackson? Well, that's funny. Well, everybody overseas can uh, wish, or that's their dream, to better themselves. They have to come to the United States. So I became obsessed with that since I was 12 years old, mm -hmm. and uh, my wish was. I had three wishes, and I would uh, sit night overnight, uh, laying, looking for the fallen star, and uh, wishing that the fallen star would grant me my wishes, which is coming to America, go to college, and uh, be uh, something different, make a difference, or uh, belong to a community that makes you feel good. and. Um, well, it happened. When I met my husband, I fell in love and we got married and I uh, came to the United States. Of course, I had to, English was the barrier. So you have to learn the English. Then as soon as I learned a few vocabulary, I said, well, you know, you can't get a job like that. So you have to open your own business. So mm -hmm. I uh, borrowed money from my father and I opened a restaurant and I put my husband through college and wow. after that he put me through college and when I graduated I had six kids at the time. No. I did not just <laughs> work. <Yeah. laughs> I work and had kids and after that I uh, went to college and I had uh, uh, and, it, and we moved after, you know after that 1978 we moved to Jackson area, Waterloo, mm -hmm. and we decided we want to come and discover Jackson. Instead, Jackson discovered us. Aww. And <laughs> 1980, we opened Steve's Ranch. Yes. 
It was tough at the beginning, but all the family worked together and we kind of made a, a good go of it. It was very nice to have the community. After a few years, they kind of realized that we are there to stay and we are good people and we are not going anywhere. So everybody kind of rallied around us. We had all these uh, support groups and uh, all these uh, uh, people that they come in just like family. So it's kind of, it feels wonderful to belong to a good community. They, uh, they just put a trust, their trust in us and we have that good feeling that someone is helping you and trusting you so you just have to stand your ground no matter how difficult it yeah. gets there were many tough moments but you have to re-establish yourself and kind of uh, go around the corner and discover something uh, different in you like I discovered my talent of baking after so many years, <laughs> you know, <laughs> then I, uh, um, there was, uh, before we never had cakes and pies, we yeah. just bought things from suppliers like everybody else, and I said, well, you know, I love to bake, and I start baking, yeah. and uh, that's what I became well known with, you know, just my baked good and uh, yeah, you yeah. get a load of these Cakes cases at Steve's yes. I mean, they're mouth watering. How do you pick? <laughs> I always whatever whatever you uh, you recommend. recommend yeah. yeah, and they ask which one is your favorite. It's, it's just like my kids. Yeah, yeah I can't pick one. <laughs> but we we love coming to your restaurant, as you know. It's such yeah. such a great time. Great. Uh, Great family atmosphere, and I was telling Jennifer that my my daughter's even worked yes. a little bit. Yes, oh, she <laughs> was so adorable. Yeah, and I wish she could. Uh, maybe we'll get her to work making uh, um, the cake for Grandma's Ooh. birthday. Ooh. She that would be, that so, would be nice. so nice. I will call and make sure when I'm working on it, so she could come and decorate Love the cake it. with me. Oh, that's me. so fun. Yes. So you guys have been in business for 43 years. For, yes, we're going on the 43rd year. Oh my gosh! In May May 43. Thank Amazing. you. Yeah, it is. It's good, but we have a good, solid community that yep. help makes it happen. And also, we have uh, Andy and uh, the whole family. They all part of our uh, yeah. business. We love it there. Yeah, yes, it's yeah, like their second home. Yeah, we love them when they come. You know. <laughs> so just, real quick, because the guys were talking about the American fries. Oh yes, Brandon's yeah. favorite. I have not had these. What is oh, special about your American fries? So. Everything we have is made homemade from scratch. scratch. We don't Everything. buy anything, get processed or done. So our American fries are real Idaho potatoes or russet sometime if Idaho is not available. We bake them, peel them, and we cut them by hand. Ooh. And then we put them on the grill with a little bit of butter mm -hmm. and toss them with a little bit of it. Oh, yeah. So that's what makes them good, yeah. Oh, that sounds good. And fantastic. the hash brown is the same. We bake them and we shred them on a shredder. So they're all good. They're awesome. wonderful. So we learned a lot about business and how to make people want something different. You know, yeah. you could yeah. get American fries that is frozen from somewhere, anywhere else. Yeah. So, and it's, we are happy to be there. and. Yeah. Uh, we do everything like we do roast beef, corned beef, and turkey. I mean, who who would go to the trouble of roasting right. turkey? So I'm yeah. glad you do because I love the hot turkey sandwich yeah. that I can oh, get whenever do. I want. Yeah. Oh, so, good to oh, know. Yes. And homemade dressing. Daily. Yes. Oh. We make homemade dressing. I mean, everything is made from scratch. Like oh, now, goodness. we are working on um, uh, setting up the menu for Easter. Mm. Oh, nice. Well, before, you know, we always had uh, buffet on the big holidays. And uh, during COVID, we stopped and people were just pushing us, you, know, you have to do the buffet, we miss the buffet. Mm -hmm. So I said, you know, why not? Um, yeah. We're just there to please the people, yeah. and these people stood with us, so we have to, yeah. to do what they want. Well, so. well congratulations, Faye, Thank on this, you. this award, and uh, continued success at Steve's Ranch. Thank you. Looking forward to uh, the you. next time, and I'm sure it'll be this week. <laughs> Thank you very much. We'd love to see you. Faye O'Day from Steve's Ranch. More of the morning show right after this quick break. You need a plumber, from leak repairs to new construction. Grimes Plumbing Company, 
Licensed and insured, proudly serves the Jackson area with fast, reliable service. No hot water, drains clogged, call Grimes Plumbing today. Proudly serving Jackson County. Tina, the Tina Turner Musical. Tina Turner's triumphant story is live on stage in the mega hit musical, direct from Broadway. Prepare to be ecstatically blown away. April 18th through the 23rd at Wharton Center. Tickets at Wharton Center and WhartonCenter.com. We all want to protect those we care about. The best way to show them that you care is by getting the COVID-19 vaccine and booster. Safe and effective for everyone six months in order, vaccinated individuals are less likely to experience severe COVID-19 symptoms or hospitalization. Protect your loved ones, protect your children, protect yourself. Get vaccinated and boosted. Those you care about are counting on you. Call the Center for Family Health Walk-In Clinic at 748-5500 for your COVID-19 vaccine or booster. Hello, I'm Brian with Avenue Auto. It's tax refund season again. And right now at Avenue Auto through tax day, bring in your W-2 and drive away today. Yes, we will prepare your tax return from a trusted source, let you know the result, and you can use your tax refund to purchase a new vehicle. No need to wait on the government for your refund, and we'll pay for your tax prep fees. Drive away today at Avenue Auto with just your W-2 and our guaranteed credit approval. We've been making car deals for over 23 years. Call us today or see our entire inventory online. Serving the greater Jackson area for over 25 years, Tamrock's Automotive knows that your life does not come to a halt because of a concern with your vehicle. Our mission is to provide extraordinary service for every customer, every time. We offer pickup and drop off service, free loaner vehicles, free car wash, and a three year, 36,000 mile nationwide warranty on most repairs. And yes, your vehicle will be diagnosed on the same day of your appointment. Our extensive health and safety inspections, our professional technicians, and state-of-the-art technology will ensure that you know the current condition of your vehicle. You can make an informed decision on the repairs made to your car or truck. When your ride is at a standstill, but your life is not, take it to Tamrocks. Automotive repair you can count on. Welcome back to The Morning Show. Our show today is brought to you by Vermeulen's Home Furnishings. They're in their third generation of being family owned and operated. Check them out. 97 years in business, Vermeulen's. The Center for Family Health has the school health centers open. All of them are now open. If you need a physical, feeling sick, want to learn more about your health, or just feeling stressed, the school health centers can help. All are welcome at Northwest, Jackson High, Northeast and Parkside, the Center for Family Health has been opening the door to health care for all for more than 30 years. Well, as mentioned in the open, Jennifer had a chance to go over to Grand River Brewery for some kegs and eggs. Let's take a look. and the best place in Jackson to kick off the day here at Grand River Brewery. The festivities are already starting. We've got live music, an awesome breakfast menu, and I already see some Irish car bombs on the tables. Let's talk to some of the guests and find out how they're kicking off St. Patrick's Day. We've got this festive table of ladies here that I have already enjoyed a very Irish breakfast. Good morning. Good morning. What is your name? Lori. Hi, Lori. What's your favorite Irish tradition? I'm meeting my friends first thing in the morning to do something silly. Well, that's perfect. This is the perfect place to do it. What are you eating? Uh, shepherd's pie. How is it? Fantastic and huge. It, that is big. Are you going to yeah. take it home and eat it for lunch too? I'm a super nice wife, so I'm dropping it off to my husband. Oh, it was working. Oh, you are the best wife. Do we have green beer in your mug? Just regular beer. Regular. They have an Irish red. Are you a mug holder here at the Grand River Brewery? I sure am. Nice. An original. Oh, an original. Fantastic. Well, happy St. Patrick's Day. Have a great time. Thank you. You as well.
right, before he starts his busy day being the chairman of everything, we're here with Steve, who just enjoyed breakfast, an Irish breakfast at the Grand River Brewery. Steve, how are you? I'm wonderful, and uh, I also want to send a shout out to Michael Shotwell. It's his birthday today. Happy birthday, Michael! That's right, James Michael Patrick Shotwell, born oh. on St. Patrick's Day. Oh, the perfect Irishman. That's right, yes he is. What's he going to do to celebrate? Uh, he'll be down here later. Oh, per oh yeah, I think I think it's only going to get better all day long. I think so all day long, yeah. He usually shows up here and they have an enjoyable time. Is this a tradition for you to hold this very important board meeting yes. here at St. Patrick's Day morning? Yeah, this morning meeting is always held. And uh, we have it here this morning, and it's great to be here. Wonderful. What are some other um, St. Patrick's Day traditions that your family has? Uh, well, really, we'll have dinner tonight at the Crazy Cowboy now that they're in the social district, and we'll enjoy downtown Jackson. Can we talk about that social district? I can talk a little bit about it. I'm not quite up as a lot of the restaurants are, but people are welcome to come downtown after 12 o'clock with the grand opening by the chamber and enjoy all the restaurants and businesses in downtown, and you can move between venues with a drink in your hand. I, It'll be fun and exciting, kind of a, a sip and shop. Yeah, that's perfect, and what a great day to kick that off. You can grab a drink at one of the uh, area pubs or restaurants, check out all the bright walls, and really have the best St. Patrick's Day ever. We are here with the Brew Masters on the biggest brew day of the year. Wyatt, what is St. Patrick's Day like here at the Grand River Brewery? Well, actually, it's not the biggest brew day because everything's already brewed. Well, oh, the we biggest ready. brew consumption day. We are ready. Uh, it's the best day for a beer drinker because you have uh, the excuse to drink beer all day. So it's. Uh, it is the best day to be a beer drinker. Did you hear that? <laughs> So we're coming into spring. You guys have worked all winter. You're uh, launching some new things. What's going on here at the brewery? Well, we've got our typical Irish beers that we do every year. Uh, Green 313, Freckle Face Hustler Irish Red, and Nitro Blarney Stone. Uh, those are our top three for today. But we also have our usual schedule of beers on, and that's another 20 taps of different types of beer. Now, when we got here, we were looking for you guys, and they said you were outside setting out up the outside bar. That's right. Spring is here. Yes. Is it officially going to open today outside? Yes, it is. Right, in conjunction with the social district? Yes. What do you think the social district is going to mean for Jackson? Uh, I think it's going to be great for our community. It really gives people an opportunity to walk around, see the businesses, check out all the little shops, and enjoy a pint while you're doing it. Very nice. And what is your favorite part or tradition uh, for St. Patrick's Day? Uh, so we serve bangers and mash here on St. Patrick's Day. It's one of my favorites. I look forward to it every year. So is that a very strong recommendation? Huge recommendation. I've never had bangers and mash. You think it's a good time to try it? It's a perfect time to try it. I mean, no pressure, but if I hate it, I'm coming for you. That's fine. <laughs> what is your favorite item um, pa above and beyond St. Patrick's Day? What's your favorite menu item at Grand River Brewery? Uh, so we typically go for a lot of the sandwiches during our work day because they're easy to eat pretty quickly. They don't get too messy, and we can kind of eat them on the fly if we need to. What time did you guys get here this morning? 6.30-ish. Uh, and how, what time do you usually get here? Uh, it depends on the day. Some of our gnarlier brew days will get here around 7, but... It can range from 7 to 10, depending on the workload. The life of a brewer is dead serious. Yeah, and then at the end of the day, we could get out at 4, could get out at 8. Depends yeah. on how the brew goes. So. Well, we're so glad you guys are here. We're so glad you've created this incredible tradition of St. Patrick's morning here at Grand River Brewery. And we can't wait for everybody to come down, enjoy what you guys have to offer this spring and summer and the social district. here that are making a pit stop 
on their way to the greenest place in Michigan. Exactly, East Lansing. East Lansing. For my son's 22nd birthday. Today's his birthday. Today's his birthday. Steve Shotwell's birthday. Oh, son's birthday is today too. Yep, and he's 100 percent Irish. Oh my gosh, yes, a beautiful yes. Irishman. Yep, what's that his he is. name? Brendan. Brendan, happy birthday and happy St. Patrick's Day. Happy St. Patrick's Day. All right, so you are a beautiful Irish woman. Well, thank you, my friend. What are some of your favorite Irish traditions? Um, usually wasn't really, like, this day was kind of like amateur day. We normally went to the <laughs> St. Patrick's Day Parade in Detroit and stuff, so that was our big family day and stuff like that. So. Did you hear the Irish woman <laughs> call St. Patrick's Day amateur day? I love her. Be safe out there. <laughs> <laughs> Be safe, get a designated driver, come down and enjoy the social district and have a great St. Patrick's Day. Asthma Allergy Centers can help you breathe freely. Since 1980, our board-certified specialists have provided testing and treatment for a wide variety of asthma and allergy-related conditions, including immunodeficiencies and skin problems. No referrals are necessary, and we accept any insurance or no insurance. You can even use our mobile app to check in and pay. Come see us at our Jackson office or one of our multiple offices in Southwest Michigan. At Blair's Car Care, honesty and customer satisfaction have always been the most important thing for us. We have been serving loyal customers in Jackson County for almost 100 years. We do auto repair of all sorts, including tires, alignment, brakes, oil changes, and much more. For more information, please call 517-782-8116 or come stop by at 2424 Wildwood Avenue and experience for yourself what makes Blair's so special. Go crazy for cash at Fire Keepers with the $132,000 Money Keepers Mania Cash Giveaway on Saturday, March 25th. The cash prizes get larger with each drawing. You could be one of 15 to win from four to $14,000. Earn entries daily through March 25th for the $132,000 Money Keepers Mania Cash Giveaway. The best giveaways, the biggest guaranteed prizes only at Fire Keepers Casino Hotel. The Enchanted Forest Bar and Grill has something for everyone. They offer a large menu with a variety of meals to choose from, including many Middle Eastern options, along with the everyday favorites. Enjoy live music and dancing, pool table, huge bar and large banquet hall, perfect for your next gathering, wedding reception, graduation party, and more. And don't miss Sunday brunch, 7 a.m. to 3 p.m. Experience a great night out at the Enchanted Forest Bar and Grill, located at 3705 Ann Arbor Road in Jackson. Center for Family Health is proud to announce that all four of our school health center locations have reopened and are accepting new patients. We recognize the importance of making sure kids have access to medical and mental health care. When their basic needs are met, kids are better prepared to focus on learning and be present in school. Families thrive when everyone has access to quality health care, so patients of all ages are welcome. Parkside, Northeast, Jackson High, and Northwest Health Centers provide primary medical care and mental health services in convenient locations throughout the community. Call us today to make your appointment or for more information. Center for Family Health, opening the door to health care for all. Today's show is brought to you by the Cascades Manor, located in the beautiful 465-acre Cascades Park. There's still availability for weddings this year, so check them out. Not too late to book. Also tonight, the Jackson College Film Series is happening. The Social Network is playing. Ooh. That's always a good one. Maybe a good one to take your kids to see. That is only $5 tonight at the Michigan Theater. We'd now like to welcome from the Jackson County Chamber of Commerce, Haley Hemming and Olivia Peugeot. Good morning. Good, Good morning. morning. Crazy busy women. Yeah. yeah. You, <laughs> might be busy, you might be busier than we are. 
Oh, <laughs> I don't yeah. know about that. I, I don't but know. We're pretty busy. Yeah. So March, it's still March, right? It's, yep. it's yeah, not as even, far as I know. <laughs> so we're only to the 20th, but let's talk mm -hmm. about uh, Women's Week. You guys had literally the busiest week you could have. Yeah. yeah. Uh, everything go go up, go well for you guys? It was awesome. Yeah, we loved every second of it. That's just a week that we really look forward to, especially for our community. Yeah, mm -hmm. good participation. Mm -hmm. Everybody yeah. seemed fired up about it. Yeah. You guys do such a great job with your events and making sure that it's inclusive of the entire community and showcasing mm -hmm. your members. You have a really cool event you were telling me about tonight at Jackson College. Tell, yes. us, tell us a little bit about that. So we have speed interviews tonight with Jackson College. Mm -hmm. That's from four to six. So we have um, specific chamber members who are coming to set up a booth and they can interview um, Jackson College students for a potential internship and or um, mm -hmm. employee. Wow. It's like speed dating. Exactly. Kind Perfect. Of. Yes. So you have to be a current Jackson College student? Yep. Current okay. Jackson College student, and you have to be a chamber member to attend. And a chamber member to attend. Should these students come with resume in hand? Yep. Definitely. Mm -hmm, for okay. sure. Because mm -hmm. then they have, so they have around five minutes and then a two-minute exchange. So they're hopping from table to table, Ooh. which best interests them okay. within their field. And how many um, employers, potential employers, do you have participating? So tonight we have... 12 employers, wow. but two for each um, table. Okay. And then there's around 50 to 100 students that will be in attendance. Oh, wow. wow. Yeah. What a awesome. great resource for both, mm -hmm. for yeah. the students and for them. A lot of those students, or most, I think, are graduating soon. So nice. they're looking actively for jobs. And yeah. obviously, a lot of businesses right now are really hungry for some new hires. So yeah. 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 it'll be a great combination of people. Mm -hmm. Oh, nice. I can't wait to hear how that turned out. Yeah, yeah. we're how excited. Many, how many matches mm -hmm. you guys were able to put together. Yep, it's a fairly new event, so mm -hmm. we're excited to see how it goes. That sounds nice. like it'd be more fun than speed dating to me. I, I agree. Oh, yeah. 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 <laughs> speed dating. I, I've never talked. Have either of you guys done speed dating? Never. Anyone Can't ever say I have. Okay. I've done speed networking. Okay. Yeah. yeah. But, yeah. but never speed dating. No. Never at least speed dating. It's always in like sitcoms. It's always. Yeah. Boring. Right. Yeah. yeah. Kind of different topics covered. Yeah. 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 This is true. Probably. Definitely. Yeah. No. Prep uh, is a little different. Yeah. Your attire yeah. might be a little different. Yeah. 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 yeah that's yeah. a good thing to remind the students to, to go dress yeah. professionally. Yeah. I feel like. Um, it, it, things got so casual during COVID mm -hmm. and people forgot about professional attire. So right. grab your resume, yeah. put on a nice professional outfit and yep. go mm -hmm. get yourself a job. Mm -hmm. Live at the lab. Woo. Yes. Again, this Friday. <laughs> yes. A really special, different live at the lab. What's Ooh, happening here? So just like every live at the lab, it's this Friday from 7 to 9 a.m. at Lean Rocket Lab. But this time we're doing things a little bit different. So welcoming any and all people, obviously, because Live at the Labs are free to anybody who wants to attend, chambers or non-chamber members. Um, but we're going to be having what we're calling a prospective member mixer. Nice. Ooh. So we're inviting some past members who may have dropped in the past or maybe forgot their membership was even active. Mm -hmm. um, people we're looking to welcome to the chamber for the first time, make some nice. introductions for them, meet us, mm -hmm. and then obviously loyal chamber members who always seem to be attendants to yeah. our yeah. Live at the Labs. So for people that, like you said, maybe have fallen off or haven't considered mm -hmm. the chamber, I, as a local business owner, would, owner, would really encourage them to mm -hmm. jump back in. We went to your after hours at the Mongoose Club. Yeah. yeah. Was that last week or the week before? Mm -hmm. And it was, you guys did a wonderful job with the food and the environment. Um, your speaker was very engaging uh -huh. and did a great job of... Uh, creating an environment where everybody was interacting and networking yep. and you know we walked away with a couple potential clients and oh, definitely awesome. some um, great perspectives you know from fellow business owners mm -hmm. it was awesome I don't know how you guys balance all of it but yeah. it's incredible thank you we appreciate that but yeah we're excited because we're also doing giveaways. We have a thousand dollar advertising package. Oh wow! Nice. So if a um, prospective member joins by March thirty first, okay. they can get entered into a raffle to Ooh. potentially win this a thousand dollar advertising package, nice. which is huge. Awesome. Yeah. Um, there's going to be games, so interactive games. There's okay. going to be an ambassador table, a chamber table. Michigan, Michigan chamber, chamber of Commerce is going to be there. Oh nice! Mm -hmm. so gonna... This is at the live at the lab. Yeah. Yes. Oh very mm -hmm. cool. And if you like off the clocks, we're giving away free tickets to off the clocks for the year. 
year. As wow. Well. Yep. Oh, yep. very oh, nice. Wow. That'd, that'd be a good one. Yeah. yeah. That's you a guys good are value. busy this week. Uh, I know you said maybe you weren't that busy this week. You got a lot going on this week. There's we also do. I the, always underestimate. The Commonwealth. I'm always wrong. Uh, we got a ribbon cutting tomorrow. Oh, yeah. Ribbon yeah. cutting tomorrow. Downtown. A grand new opening for them. That's very exciting. That's from 11:30 to one. Nice. Uh huh. You guys had a big ribbon cutting Friday. Yeah. Yes. You tell us about it. <laughs> it was so much fun. <laughs> so we kind of um, got everybody who was involved a long time coming social district. Yes. Um, so we invited all the participating businesses, um, Axe Play, Dirty Bird, Ogma, all those guys yeah. all came. Um, JTV was there um, and kind of did a grand opening ribbon cutting across the street for Aww. the social district on St. Patrick's so Day. Cool. It was great. So we all uh, stopped in Dirty Bird to get our social district drinks nice. and we cut the ribbon and it was a huge hit. Mm -hmm. oh. A lot of people in attendance. It's, it was really fun. It's going to be a big Very summer. I think. Yeah. 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 It's going to be, be so fun. We just need Mother Nature to yes. get on board. Yes, yes, please. For sure. Yes. For sure. Uh -huh. Well, thank you guys so much for being here. Yeah, uh, it's we be appreciate another, you having us. I'm sure we'll run into you at uh, at least two of the three events. All right, perfect. Awesome. Thank you guys again thank you. so thank much. Thank you. And uh, I hope you do get some rest coming up soon. I know you guys deserve it. Yeah, yeah. you too with that. <laughs> 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 yeah. hey, hey, you're not supposed to tell anyone about that. Hey, Haley and Olivia from our Jackson Chamber. More of the morning show right after this. Tomorrow is taking shape at Napoleon Schools. If I could be you, and you could be me for just one hour. If we could find a way to get inside each other's minds. Walk a mile in my shoes. Walk a mile in my shoes. Well, before you abuse, criticize. Walk a mile in my shoes. I use my brain power to help kids realize theirs. I am Henry. When Tyler got his new heart, ours became whole again. We are Henry. I'm a bike rider and a rare cancer survivor. I am Henry. I'm a patient from point A to point B. I am Henry. I am Henry. I am Henry. When you found your inner believer and all around conqueror, you found your Henry. Jackson Catholic Schools includes three elementary preschools, Queen of the Miraculous Medal, St. John the Evangelist, and St. Mary Star of the Sea, as well as Lumen Christi Middle School and High School. Our focus is educating the whole child, academically, socially, spiritually, and physically. To schedule a visit and to learn more about our outstanding schools, please go to jacksoncatholicschools.org. Jackson Catholic Schools, minds at work, faith in action. Welcome back to the morning show on JTV. Good morning. Welcome back. Good morning. How are you today? Uh, I'm I'm better now. Good, this good. is a great way to. I'd like to hear from you this afternoon. See how you're feeling. Yeah, I'll good. let you know. All right. I'm sure I'll pull it together. I uh, we've talked about this before, but you want to talk about the four day work week? Yes. And uh, gosh, so I read this study. Do we have this slide? The study that was done that proved that. And this is the world's largest four-day work week trial ever. Okay. Right? And it proved successful. And it proved successful in reducing um, sick days mm. mm -hmm. to like 0.07. Really? Yes. It um, uh, longevity. 
people staying with the company, and productivity. Now, productivity only proved to be up 7%, but it was still up. Like, if you can accomplish the same you yeah. know, amount in yeah, four days that sure. you can in five, and maybe you work longer yeah. days or hours on those days, but overall health, relationships, childcare, it all proved to be better. And I think and to make it work, you'd probably have to stagger it. I think so, You know, yeah, like yeah. within a company, some worked this, some did that. I worked for a wonderful company in Ann Arbor called Instrumetics, and we did this mm -hmm. um, a, as a trial, and it really worked really? out well. Yeah, yeah, so anyway. So are you giving your, your uh, staff Fridays off? You know, we do a reduced hours sure. on so Friday. Sure, Reduced hours yeah. on Friday mm -hmm. um, for our staff. Uh, my business is different than yeah, most. Yeah, like, Friday is my Monday and yeah. all of that. But I think overall, though, you know, if it meant that my clients would be happier and mm -hmm. all the things. I just think those office jobs that you go to and sit at for eight yeah. hours, five days a week could be just as productive, so. if not more. And creativity, I bet creativity would go through the roof. I think so, I think, so, yeah. Anyone four who's day work, work week, anyone four day work week. working in a job that's like office space probably, uh, <laughs> yeah. probably could agree. Jennifer, thanks for being with us. I want to wish you the most spectacular hair appointment today. Thank uh, you. I hope it goes well for you. Please join us tomorrow. We have Phil Van Allen, Crescenda Jones, Zoe Lyons, and Matt Aubin. Later today on Bart's show, Tom Jacola, Jill Weatherwax, Robert Campbell, Brandon Fisher, and Gina Turish, and Frank and Jan Gonzal, or Jan Ganzel, excuse me, from the Tunnel to Towers. That's it for today. We'll see you this afternoon. Bye-bye. Welcome to this week's episode of The Locker Room brought to you by County National Bank. Coming up on today's show, boys and girls play.